Hi, thanks for tuning in to Atomic Moto's field review of the Suomi MX Jump Helmet. This uh, MX Jump is available in sizes small through 3XL, solid colors in the low $300 range, and graphics in the mid $300 range. It's a new model for us. Um, we were drawn to it. We, we, liked to, we liked it. We took, started looking at it because of one factor, and that one factor actually uh, kind of dominates your impression of it, and it's probably going to be the beginning, middle, and end of this, uh, this field review, and that is its light weight. The Suomi MX Jump is the lightest weight helmet that we have found that is available with correct homologation for the U.S. market. Uh, it weighs in at about 2.6 pounds for this size extra large, which is really quite good. Um, it is instantly noticeable when you pick it up. It's also instantly noticeable when you put it on your head and um, when you're moving around on the motorcycle. It's much less neck fatigue. Uh, it's just uh, part of it, I'm sure, is psychological, but but um, part of it is also pure physics. Uh, the MX Jump just feels much much lighter and less fatiguing and more comfortable when you're wearing it. Uh, you know, a helmet doesn't have as many moving parts or parts in general, or it's not, they're not as complicated as things, say, a boot or even a glove. And so, so reviewing them is a, a little bit more uh, nitpicky, a little bit more based on things like the, the fit and finish. Uh, for the fit and finish of the Suomi helmet, it is mostly good, very good, in fact. Uh, the, the feel of the helmet, the fit of it when it's on your head is quite good. It's very stable. Uh, the quality of the interior liner is um, really good. You can see, sorry by the way, I have this, um, this contour uh, helmet cam on here, but the, the fabric on the uh, facing of the interior is actually quite nice. The interior liner is, is nice and open. It is a molded liner and has lots of room for ventilation, deep vent channels inside the helmet. Uh, the fabric used here on the trim areas of the um, interior, this, um, this mesh is a little bit rough and frankly after you've taken the helmet off, um, you know, when you're good and hot and sweaty for three, four times during a day, it's a little bit abrasive. It doesn't feel very good, but, um, but in general, the interior on the helmet is really nice. Uh, but frankly, most helmets get that right nowadays at all price points. Um, the uh, design is, is really beautiful. It's a great looking lid. You see, I've got it here with, um, with our favorite ProGrip 3450 LS goggles on there. And that's really a beautiful design. And, um, there's a couple of things about the, the fit and finish that we don't like. We need to point those out. You know, some things like this plastic trim here on the back of the helmet is, uh, it's not um, finished. There's a sharp edge on the back, but it's not in a spot where it could actually hurt you, but it really isn't a good thing. It doesn't make you feel more secure about the helmet. Um, the snaps on the interior liner are a little bit weak. Uh, it's easy to knock them out if you're not trying to, but they pop back in quite easily also, which is a good thing. Um, the paint finish on it is, or the graphics finish, because they're not really painted anymore, is outstanding. Uh, this helmet is ECE certified, dot and ECE certified. It is not Snell. There is absolutely, though, a trend toward more, uh, more acceptance of ECE related helmets and, and non-Snell related helmets, and, and we're part of that trend also, um, I think. Uh, EC certification and, um, and DOT certification is quite good, especially for off-road helmets. Um, ventilation on it, uh, there's no controllable venting on it, but it does have these nice ports here. It does have exhaust ports here and also on the back of the helmet back here. It uh, has some intake ports here just below the, the visor. And it's, it's pretty cool and comfortable. It does a decent job of flowing air. It's not as noticeable as the big kahuna in that regard, which is the, the Climb F4, but it is lighter than, for example, the, um, the HJC helmets. It's actually, um, it actually breathes a little bit better, flows a little bit better uh, for ventilation than our, our favorite, which is the, um, the Shoei VFX. Uh, the overall impression of the helmet, uh, you know, is, is very good. It's not great. You know, I mentioned the Shoei VFX. That's that and the Arai VX Pro are our favorites. This is not uh, on the same level of those, as those two helmets. They definitely have a higher level of build quality and um, finishing. But, um, but this is quite good. And I'd say it's probably a bit of average. Uh, who is it for? Well, it's simple. If you're looking for a really lightweight helmet, there's really nothing else that comes close to this. And in that regard, uh, if you're choosing based on that criteria, it really does very little wrong. Um, so, so it is the, 
it's maybe not our, our um, best rated helmet overall, but, uh, but it is certainly quite good and it stands on its own merit if you're looking for something with low weight. Uh, on the weight, by the way, this is 2.6 pounds. I may have said that already, but this is 2.6 pounds. That's a half pound to a pound lighter than anything else we, we found. And it actually gets there. It gets to that low weight in a, a much better way than my previous helmet, the Aero Stealth, did. That, that helmet was very small. The shell was very small. It actually achieved its, its uh, low weight by, um, by not having much substance. And I, I sometimes worried a little bit about the thickness of the EPS liner. Uh, this is actually more conventionally sized, and it actually looks better when you're wearing it. Um, you know, speaking to the eye port opening, you see I have the, our favorites, once again, our favorite ProGrip 3450s in there, and um, they fit in there fine. We've tried it with a couple of other model, models of goggles, some 100% ones that we're testing, and, um, and also a Smith model. We also always test every helmet with, um, with an over-the-glasses model, which is, in this case is, is a, a Smith. And the eye port opening is nice and large. and actually looks really good when, when you have your worn, when you're wearing it. Uh, so, that's our field review of the Suomi MX Jump Helmet. It is available in sizes small to 3XL, in solid colors in the low $300 range, and in graphics, many graphics, in about the mid $300 range. And the graphics that are available are changing quite regularly. The, the distributor is also always bringing in new models, and so the best thing to do is to um, go on our website and see what's available at the current time that you're looking. Uh, we are Atomic Moto, www.atomic-moto.com, home of the bombers. We are mission focused on getting you the right gear for you, your bike, and your type of riding, in some cases even your region. Uh, we're also mission focused on having a really good, deep, thorough understanding of product. Uh, I have a background actually designing and developing product, and, and so I'm kind of curious, and, and that's my, uh, my area of interest. And uh, so we spend a lot of time with the other bombers having meetings where we get some pizza and beer and, and talk about stuff and, and really uh, drill down into how the products are made, how they work on the bike, what um, features appeal to us, and what features and aspects don't appeal to us. We back all that up with um, great customer service, things like fast, free shipping, people that can actually answer the telephone and give you intelligent answers to questions about the products or uh, availability or details, etc. So uh, once again, thanks for tuning in. We hope to see you soon.